you know, thinking of the public safety first. Yeah, sure. It'll become obvious yeah. if they need to call it off. We'll let you know. Coming up next. So what we've seen is a overall improvement to forecast accuracy of 25 to 30 percent. Back from one flight and getting ready for another. How are the hurricane hunters helping to fine tune the forecast? And what's that plane's nickname? Collect helps forecasters improve their accuracy. Early on, the models were kind of spread out in its track and where it was going. But after both us and NOAA uh, have gotten out there flying, collecting data and information, those tracks have started to narrow in and, and tighten up. And so what we've seen is a overall improvement to forecast accuracy of 25 to 30%. The crew used a Hurricane Hunter P-3. NOAA also operates two WP-3D Orion aircraft nicknamed Kermit and Miss Piggy. Now to the science behind Hurricane Lane. Our Jennifer Robbins is back from maternity leave just in time to break it down. Let's take a closer look at the steering winds of Lane. We have this large area of high pressure to the north of us. And keep in mind, a hurricane will take the path of least resistance. As this area of high pressure weakens, that's when we'll start seeing Lane take that north track. And that's exactly what we're seeing when it comes to the computer models. When models are clustered together, there's a higher confidence that it will take that turn towards the north. And that's exactly what the weather models are portraying as we go into the next 48 hours. Hurricane cone of uncertainty, well, the air in the cone over time is much larger. And you can see day five, about 200 miles. But now we're approaching that 24 hour to 48 hour window. And that means anywhere from 30 to 70 miles when it comes to the air. Keep in mind, there's a 65% chance that the storm remains in the center of the cone, but that does not indicate the size of the storm. So the outer fringe could very well bring the possibility of a lot of flooding across the island chain. Take another look at the storm from up above. Category 5, 160 mile an hour winds moving west-northwest at 9 miles an hour. More after the break. <laughs> 